Tomorrow is the last day you'll see crowds of superheroes, villains, and other pop culture characters roaming the streets of Music City. Sunday's the final day of Wizard World Comic Con's second year here. Fox 17's Michaela Lewis joins us now to explain all the interesting variety of fun happening on day two. Michaela. Well, Erica, it's not every day that you see Spider-Man and fairy princesses hanging out. And where else can you go sci-fi speed dating? Well, the Wizard World Comic Con kept the mix going today, and even a real-life superhero stopped by. There's a superhero around every corner at Wizard World Comic Con, but on Saturday a new one is swooping in at Music City Center, Captain Spectrum. I saw you on TV last night. Earlier this week, Christy and Jay McDonald saw Fox 17's story about the boy behind the green costume and colorful cape. As a Stewart County student with autism, Christopher Miller felt like he couldn't fight off the bullies any longer. Christopher tried to kill himself twice between the spring and summer. I feel like I didn't want to live, live anymore. But after getting help at Vanderbilt Psychiatric Hospital and getting out this week, he also found his superpowers within. He created Captain Spectrum to teach bullies to be nice to children with autism. I thought, well, autistic kids never did have a superhero, so I thought they, they needed one. I work with um, kids on a daily basis and, you know, interact with a lot of kids that have autism and have dealt with bullying and dealt with all of these things, and I think that what he's doing is great. The Wizard World Comic Con leaders thought so, too, after seeing the story, inviting Miller to his own booth. Despite the mad dash to make a costume, his mother says... To see everything come, come about like it is, um, I'm in awe. I, I'm humbled and I'm, I'm so proud of him. Even the Green Power Ranger Jason David Frank showed excitement for the hero. Go! So much that he stole the Fox 17 camera. Actors, local superheroes, and even the ones in the comic books. But where else can you find video games or collectible card games with Nashville Santa? Well, it's no mystery. You can find it all right here at Wizard World Comic Con. It's an event that has broad appeal. Just a lot to see and do. And the atmosphere is fun and it's contagious. The best part for many is hanging out with fans. It's pretty exciting that I finally did get to meet them. Sunday, Wizard World Comic Con is open at Music City Center from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information on Chris Miller's Captain Spectrum campaign, visit Fox17.com. Michaela Lewis, Fox 17 News.